First of all, happy May. Today, I'm filming on a Saturday, as was my other uh, video that I just, sorry, that I just um, viewed, uh, filmed, and it was my birthday yesterday, so I'm 28. It was a really good birthday. I was kind of miffed that it was a quarantine birthday, but then I realized, you know what, I'm with the people I love. I'm with my brother, I'm with my mom, and I have so many well-wishers who reached out and wished me happy birthday. The sun shone for a few hours, which is really nice. I always look forward to the sun shining on my birthday, because the last couple of birthdays it was raining, and my 27th birthday, I was dealing with the heartbreak, so I was depressed, out of my mind. And I was at work. <laughs> and this one, I was like, you know what? I'm in a good mental space. Of course, this birthday, I was coming off of a 24-hour reading challenge, which was not fun, by the way. <laughs> I tell you all about that in my previous video. I'll link that down below and up top. And, uh, yeah, I did some book shopping. I'm going to do my book haul whenever my books come in. I'm going to wait till all of them come in. That way, it'll just be a nice video. Um, yeah, just good birthday. Mom made Agu Puri, which is one of my favorite meals ever to eat. Very heavy. And I had pizza for dinner. Just, well, okay, a pizza and wings. I got it from Pizza Hut because my favorite one was closed. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is my May TBR challenge. All right, cool beans, let's get into it. So, the theme for my May challenge is largely library books. I think. Or maybe it won't happen. I'm not sure yet. I think the library books are going to no, sorry, uh, be returned on May 11th. Because, as you know, uh, a, lot of the libra all the, a lot of the libraries shut down during the quarantine. And they said, whatever books you have, just keep until we reopen, which is great. And you think I would have gotten them read within the first few days. No. <laughs> so I figured May would be a good library reading month. So I have some library books. I'm going to finish off another series of Riordan as well. And then of course there's my May Beacon Book Club reading as well. I have a couple of books I just wanted to read. But the focus is definitely going to be on the library books themselves. So the first book that I started yesterday, I Am Princess X by Sherry Priest. It's really good. I'm 130 pages in, more than halfway through. I'm going to finish this today, right after I film this. Next, we have... Oh, sorry, High Fire. This, I believe, I saw on Jesse the Reader's channel. This is by Ian Colfer. So I think it has to do a little bit of uh, the Druids uh, of Celtic stuff. So, the book smells really nice. Does anyone else sniff books? <laughs> Next. Oh, uh, some of these books are graphic novels, too. Then we have This One Summer by Jillian Tamaki. Yeah, I think I wanted to read a couple of uh, Japanese-inspired graphic novels or Japanese authors graphic novels. Uh... Pretty good. I'm not going to go through the um, 
thing, the summary. Mar Mariko Tamaki. This is also a double prize winner. One, this Caldecott Honor book. And a... American Library Association. This would be the... Michael Prince Excellence in Young Adult Literature. Cool. All right, I'm excited to read this. Then we have, and this one is a hunter, and I think I should get this written, read this weekend. Habibi, which is a very, very big book. It's, it's, it's long. And this is also a graphic novel. This is by Craig Thompson, the author of Blankets. How many pages of this? It's a lot. <laughs> it's, it is very, very heavy. So, as soon as I read the I Am Princess X book, this is my next one. See, it is, I can't hold it up with one hand. It's not heavy. Then the final library book. I'm gonna read is. Oh, wait, hold on. There's another one. I'm sure it's somewhere. Alright. Is Imaginary Friend by Stephen Chabosky. And I had my eye on this for a few months. And I'm glad that I was able to get it from the library. So, also another big book. I'm excited about this one. And there was another one, if I can just find it. No, you yeah, guys, this book was hiding literally in plain sight. I don't know how I missed it. It's in my uh, blue, green, and TBR uh, box. And I guess I, 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 I just didn't look carefully. And so, Glendy's Magic Feather by Richard Schismar. As you may recall, this is the sequel to Glendy's Button Box. I look forward to reviewing this as well. Well, I actually, I was like, wait a minute, I can't be this careless. I remember putting all of my library books in the exact same bookshelf, the exact same position. So how is it that I misplaced it? And I was like, how could I be this careless? And I really did not want to pay the library fines for a lost book. Because it's, it's the price of the book plus an extra 6 to $8. I'm like, the girl ain't trying to pay all that money. So, yeah, this is the last of my library books. And I have the Beacon Book Club, which is Thorn by Intazar Kanani. I'm excited about this one. Next, I have Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard's third book in the series, The Ship of the Dead. Then, this is Three Dark Queens, sorry, Three Dark Crowns by Kendara Blake. And finally, I have Henderbell by J.D. Neto. I'm really excited to read this one the most because this was from the Henderbell Special Edition box, which I don't think ever went up. I filmed it. I don't think I ever uploaded that one. So, yeah. All right, cool. That's all the books I have. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.